everybody, it's Kathy. Um, I'm back. After a couple of years, I'm back. Um, I took some time off and, well, I'm not going to get into it, but um, amongst other things, um, I have uh, lost a considerable amount of weight. Uh, 70 pounds to be exact, in about five months. Um, I, uh, of course, am... Uh, getting too skinny <laughs> for my clothes so I thought I would go and buy a few items at a time as my my size changes um, so I uh, uh, bumped into the Salvation Army yesterday and uh, uh, they had some really nice stuff now I have to give a shout out to the Salvation Army what a clean smelling store I mean seriously, for a thrift store, for a thrift store, you know that smell, that funky urine body odorish aroma that usually permeates uh, or all thrift stores. That you know, you know what I'm talking about. You, you thrifters know what I'm talking about. This one was I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so, uh, as I sort of was casually going through stuff, I noticed the quality of clothes was exceptional. Um, there was so much I wanted to buy, but knowing that I wouldn't be able to fit them in a few months sort of reined me back. But I, I bought a few things to last me, and uh, so let's get started. Um, I'll just dump this out. Let's see here. I was lucky enough to score a brand new pair of pants. All tags uh, still on. I'll just move this out of the way here. And uh, these are Penningtons. The curvy fit. And we are size 18. Original price is $68, was marked down to $59.99, and then I guess they shipped them off to, to the donation center. Um, these are really nice. Nothing wrong with these. There's no flaw. I looked them over in the dressing room. Um, yeah, these are very lightweight, very nice pants. What do they call them now? Career career pants? I don't know. But um, I really like them. I'm going to use them. I just need to lose about five more pounds. <laughs> so they fit, you know, the way they're supposed to. Um, so maybe next week. The way, the way I'm losing weight is uh, through fasting and a ketogenic diet. And I won't get into that here because that's not not the subject of the video. So there you go, wide leg, um, really great. I like them. I like them. All right, we'll just put those aside. And next up is another pair of pants. I usually don't have that much luck in thrift stores and pants, and I'm, I'm kind of rather fussy. Um, but these are a Walmart brand, George, and uh, these are really nice pants. These are well made. They're a nice thick cotton. Um, you can either um, button up for a cuff, and bring them up, and, or wear them down, which I'll probably do. Um, I believe these are new if um, there's no new tags on them, but um, uh, these have not been worn. You can you can tell if they were worn maybe once, but uh, there you go, size 18. Um, nice for spring. How much did I pay for those? I paid $5.99. Did I mention how much I paid for these? $12.99. Alright, next up is another pair of pants. These are pull-ons. They're 
uh, a charcoal, a darker charcoal black, I think. Um, straight cut again from uh, Pennington's. Again, I suspect these were gifted to somebody. I paid $8.99. Um, and they either didn't like them or wore them a couple of times and it wasn't for them. Now these have got a very long leg. I'm five foot seven and I have to wear heels with these. Which is okay. I like heels. So those will... Like I said, I don't get luck with good, uh, buying buying uh, dress pants or career pants or whatever you want to call them um, at thrift stores. They're either really worn or they just don't fit in the right spots. Okay, next up is Elaine Bryant. Um, I paid $6.99 for it. Uh, a nice burgundy gray stripe. I like stripes. Stripes look good on me. Um, the style of um, blouse also looks good on me. It's like it was, it's just one of those styles that look good on me. And this one is a size 18-20. And again, uh, $6.99. All the buttons are there. There's very little, very little, if any. I really scored good. Um, where? I couldn't find any flaw or anything in the dressing room. Um, so, yeah. Whoever got it probably got it as a gift. Didn't like it. And it sat in their closet forever and finally donated. Or they died. Shh! <laughs> okay. And a last clothing item I got is a Reitman's burgundy sweater. Um, I love this color with pink and gray. Um, I just like the combination, so I'm really happy with this. This is in, like, stellar condition. No buttons missing. Buttons on the cuff. There's no snags. Um, it's a 2X, but it fits like a 1X. Uh, 6 dollars and uh, I'm, just, I, I'm over the moon that I got something like this. I am going back on Friday because they have um, a 40% off on the 9th. So that's where I'll be back for another, another hopefully, video. So, and I got two purses. Uh, this one I got... Um, it's, uh, what do you call it? A mouflon. That is a uh, high-end luggage company in here in Canada. And they also have uh, handbags. And this is, like, unused. Totally unused. I looked it up um, on their website. I couldn't find this exact one, but uh, something very similar. Between $60 and $80. And uh, other than... A little bit of dust. It would probably sat in somebody's closet forever. And, uh, yeah, see. So I am very pleased. I like the grey and black. I am going to dinner theater tonight. So I will debut this with my outfit. And last but not least is another purse. Um... <laughs> bit of a story with this one. Uh, the brand is, I believe that says Seductions. Uh, I'll try and bring it up here. And uh, I looked it up and the website I got to was South African. And uh, so I'm not familiar with their currency, but uh, I, I clicked on the American um, what is it? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, when you when you want it in, in an American dollars. Anyway, it was worth about $25. $25. But I really like it. It's really got a good full... Or vegan leather. Oh, brother. Uh, <laughs> vegan leather. But, it, but it's not that plasticky 
you know, it, it, it is nice and soft and um, it could pass for leather. I just like the bow. That's why I got it. And um, did I pay for it? $7.99. Anyway, that's the end, guys. Um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I don't know how consistent I will be. I will be try to um, be a little more regular uh, with occasional thrifting. And um, I don't do much Dollar Tree anymore because I ended up buying just the same stuff over and over and over again. And I found myself buying stuff that I never used just to make videos. So I had to quit doing that because it was getting out of hand. Um... Anyway, for my haul, um, a grand total of $42, which is pretty good for what I got. And uh, that's it, guys. And um, if I go thrifting on uh, on Friday the 9th at the Sally Ann, um, I will make another video. And I hope I have an audience to watch it. So I will see you then. And bye, and have a great weekend.